the main point to do is to look at the long trends, and there is decay on virtually every front over the last 30 years in terms of income distribution, climate change, environment, poverty. If you counted poverty the way every other nation in the world counts it, a quarter of our society is in poverty. That is half of the median income. So there is of underlying decay in the system that, as I say, the political system can't handle, and bound to come with that are both protests, political protests. Much more interesting is changes in the institutions, worker-owned co-ops, neighborhood ownership. Changing the ownership of capital is happening in many, many parts of the country. There are 10 million people in worker-owned companies of one kind or another, 130 million people in co-ops of one kind or another. These are Change, going to the question of who owns the capital, which is the central issue of, of any kind of a corporate or capitalist system. And I think that's going to build out of the decay and out of the pain. Well, a lot in what you just said, but let's start with some examples. When you say there are examples, name a few. Well, it depends. The most interesting one, of course, is in Cleveland, the Evergreen Co-ops, which some people have heard about. This is a, in Cleveland, Ohio today, a group of worker-owned co-ops brought together with a nonprofit corporation so that they build community, not just individual worker co-ops, and a revolving fund based on the Mondragon co-ops in, in the Basque region of Spain, so that they kick back to the revolving fund to build more worker co-ops. So that's the complex. Um, they've got three or four of them on the ground. Mm -hmm.